<laughs> Andrea, actress Gabrielle Nevea is taking the world by storm. Besides starring on the popular Nickelodeon show That Girl Lele, she's also a musician and a comedian. There's nothing this girl can't do. I loved those dance moves, too. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's been a minute since I've seen you. I, I, I might have to bust out a couple for you. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you know, you know, get in the groove. <laughs> there you go. You were laughing at yourself a little I was, bit. I was, because it's so funny for me to, like, watch it back, you know? It's just, it's a vibe. It's it? definitely a vibe. Well, yeah. that's, you know, you're on Nickelodeon. You've, you've done the show now. It's been wildly popular for quite some time. New season. Yeah, new season. Um, well, it's technically still season two, but we just kind of stretched it yeah. out over a long period of time. But new episode tonight. Yes. Um, this one was probably the most difficult one to shoot because really? there's so many superpowers in it. Um, Lele is freezing a basketball game. So you can just imagine how many, you know, different techni technical aspects uh, went in into that. But it's a good show. So that's, if parents haven't of. seen it with their kids yet, yeah. describe the premise of it a little bit. Because there is a little bit of fun and fantasy and, and lots going on, which also, I feel, encourages kids to have discussions with their parents about self-love and making sure they're solid in who they are and all those types of things. Yeah, it's very whimsical. Very whimsical. Um, Sadie is a, a girl that's very shy and she has trouble speaking up in school so she wishes upon a star that her positive affirmation app comes to life um, so she can have a friend and in Nickelodeon magic of course she does come to life and the show follows Sadie and Lele trying to figure out life trying to figure out high school trying to find who they are and this season is, is really uh, based on love and really based on their relationship with each other and their relationship with the other characters and um, Sadie really comes into her own this season. Well, that's you and I have had the pleasure of meeting each other and talking to each other before. You were yeah. one of my first job with Jamie's. Oh, and my I, goodness. I loved sitting down and talking to you and just learning that, you know, you are somebody, you're a little, you feel a little like your character on the show. Yeah, I used to be just like Sadie. I used to be very awkward, um, very, you know, kind of gangly, and, you know, I didn't really know where I fit in. Um, and acting kind of helped me figure out who I was and who I was going to be in the world. And Sadie is definitely a big part of me. I, I definitely, we have the same dance moves. You know, <laughs> there's not much acting on that part. Um, but yeah, she's somebody that I, I really have loved for a long time and have grown to um, appreciate and learn from. Yeah you, yeah, you can learn from each other in a way, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, I'm definitely a much more vibrant person now, but um, in middle school, I was definitely really shy and really uh, scared of, of talking to people and being out there. So I think telling that story through Sadie, is some, there's something beautiful about it. You kind of see the evolution of where I used to be and who I am now. Yeah. Well, talk about an evolution. You have a single coming out. I do, so yeah. So you're a musician now, too. You're, you just keep adding things to your resume. You know, just ticking it off, world domination. <laughs> yeah. The song is, the new single is going to be Take Me There. And Take Me There. And we can hear there. it in May. Yes, yeah, you can hear it on my 19th birthday. Oh. Um, it's a little birthday present to me. Take Me There is about being in love and not wanting the moments that you share with that person to end. So oh, I, I think that. it'll be a vibe. Um, it's an Afrobeat song, so I hope people really enjoy it. Yeah. We love love around here. Yeah, you, <laughs> I love love. Yeah. You're also launching, I heard, a substantial streetwear brand this spring. Uh, and a portion of the proceeds are going to go toward funding arts programs in underserved public schools. Why is this something that's important to you? So the arts is really where I found myself. And I know there are tons of areas and tons of schools that are having trouble keeping those programs alive. And it really, the arts are transformative, right? I wouldn't be who I am today without it. And it's important for me to make sure that other kids have the same opportunity that I did. So with my clothing brand, The House of G&G, &G, that's launching this spring, um, we take pre-loved garments and we repurpose them oh, into something that. new. Yeah, like we take uh, discarded denim and baby blankets and turn them into a, uh, a little baby of our own and uh, work them into our designs. It's something that I'm really passionate about because the arts are really important and uh, it's it's going to be amazing. I hope well, the people arts enjoy. are important and the environment I know is something yeah. that you care deeply about. So I love the repurposing of things there. Talk about now. When I saw this, stand up comedian also oh. being added. So now <laughs> we've got musician, actress, designer and stand-up comic. Yeah, stand-up is something that I started right before I booked all that, um, <laughs> which is crazy because I had never done stand-up before. I had never done uh, sketch comedy. So it was like I was trying all these new things. And stand-up is something that I've been really wanting to get back into, especially with the strike. Sure. Us just getting over the strike. Yeah. I'm like, I need to have something is else. Is an outlet? It is an outlet, 1,000%. Yeah. Um, talk about my friends, family, 
um, being 18, being what people would call a child star. Sure. Um, so it's a, it's a fun outlet to just kind of talk about my life and make people laugh. Yeah, well, we all, we love love around here. We love laughing around here. I also have to give a shout out to your mom in oh. the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we love your mom. She, she's with you yeah, all the time. She is. Yeah, mom's my best friend. So um, love that. you know, I travel with her. She, uh, you know, she's my safe place, safe <laughs> space. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for being here. We Thank really you appreciate for it. Me. Good luck with the show tonight, and you can watch more about Gabrielle and her projects by going to KCAL News news.com clicking scene on TV. Ruta Bay. She does so much. Great interview, Jamie. Thank you. Now